John Boykin from the Gilson Engineering Toledo office. Today we're going to look at some of the common troubleshooting issues we see with the Siemens Hydro Ranger ultrasonic level control. The Hydro Ranger has the most advanced diagnostics of any ultrasonic level control on the market in order to help pinpoint performance issues. If the Hydro Ranger occasionally displays a level higher than the actual level, the sensor may be experiencing ringback. With ringback, the transducer face continues to vibrate after the transmit pulse has ceased. What this means is the sensor was still ringing when it's time for the sensor to start listening to the return echo. We suggest using a rubber gasket for the flange sensors and Teflon tape for threaded sensors in order to reduce the ring back. Also, do not over tighten the sensor. Nozzles can create problems for both threaded and flange sensors. A nozzle may make the reading look higher than the actual level. Siemens suggests that any mounting nozzle length be no longer than three times the nozzle diameter. Stilling wells are acceptable in many cases as long as some liquid always remains in the well. Electrical noise can cause issues with the remote ultrasonic sensors, such as this. The sensor wire should never be mounted in the same conduit as high voltage wires or near electrical noise generators such as VFDs. Obstructions inside the vessel may cause false reflections. Before mining the sensor, you want to make sure there aren't any obstructions in the beam path. If you cannot get away from all the obstructions, the Hydro Ranger may be able to map them out with auto false echo suppression function. Now we'll look at some of the diagnostic information available in the Hydro Ranger. One of the first things I like to look at when troubleshooting is echo confidence in parameter 805. The echo confidence is shown as two numbers. Near zone confidence and far zone confidence. The near zone is defined as the area within the first three feet of the sensor. The far zone is beyond three feet. Ideally, you'd want to have a large number in the near zone or far zone, but not both. If a level is in the near zone, but a strong confidence value is shown in the far zone, this could be indicative of a double reflection. If the level is more than three feet away from the sensor, but a strong near zone confidence is displayed, this could be the sign of ring back or an improper nozzle. Parameter 806 displays echo strength in the range of 0 to 99 dB. Again, the stronger the signal, the better. Parameter 807 displays noise and dB. The two noise numbers displayed are average followed by peak. The noise may be acoustic or electrical in nature. Average noise is generally more important than peak noise. Any average noise greater than 20 dB may be a cause for concern. By connecting the Hydro Ranger to a PC running Siemens PDM software or Dolphin software, we can take a look at the complete echo profile. This can tell us where, if any, false echoes are being reported. The Hydro Ranger has many tuning parameters that can be accessed, such as auto false echo suppression, algorithm selection, near zone blanking, and range extension. If you have any questions with these troubleshooting techniques, please call us here at Gilson or Siemens Tech Support at 800-333-7421.